for your lead partnership. Friday morning four balls. Who are you going with, Butch? Well, they're right here in front of me. I'm going to start with uh, this one right here. If I can get Dust Dustin Johnson to go there over go, there. There him. we go. Yeah. And then I'm going to put him with Ricky Fowler. Oh, very strong. And that's what I'm going to start with. Yeah. A lot of talk about uh, in the past, maybe Brooks and DJ together. You, you think that he's going to go with Ricky and Dustin? What's the reasoning behind it? Uh, they played a lot of golf together. They live in Florida together. They, they get along together. It's, it's a birdie machine. They both make a lot of birdies. I like this team. I do too. It's, it's decent. To be fair, you could just throw them over your shoulder and see what happens. You do quite well, Butch. But we'll lock that one in. There we go. Let's lock that in, hopefully. There you go. Right, second partnership. All right, let's go uh, the mad scientist, DeChambeau. Just that's me, it. Scroll it down. Just down scroll them down, but cheek. There you go. Where's Tiger Woods? Yeah. There we go. We were just talking about him. I'm going to put him right there with that one. Is that the worst kept secret so far? Do you think these two being together? Oh, geez, it's out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, why is this going to work this time? And we talked about the record before in, in team events. Why is this one going to be these so strong? These two guys tend to get along well together. I, I, the important thing for me, and I think one of the reasons that the European teams have been so successful, is they don't pack. Uh, partner players on how they play. Yeah. They get two guys to get along well together because something bad's going to happen out there. And I think these two guys get along well together. Tiger is a student of the game. He's a student of something. I don't know what it is he's a student <laughs> of, but they seem to get on together. They certainly do indeed. Very strong partnership. Same golf ball as well, which might help for that group. Right, match three. This is your third pairing, Butch. Uh, let's go over here with uh, Justin Thomas. Right, JT out there, who's he with? And I'm going to put him with his buddy, Jordan Spieth. Two guys that uh, putt very well together, and it, as you know, the Ryder Cup comes down to a putting contest. I really like that one. He's been doing a little bit of work with Davis Love as well on the putting so far this week, Jordan Spieth. Is that the only thing that's really holding him back? Do you think the flat stick's starting to work well for him again? Uh, I think it is, yeah. I, I'm not sure he's playing as well as he'd like to, but I like this combination. They're two guys that get along well, two young guys that have grown up together. they played in the Junior Ryder Cup together. There's a lot of history here. I like this team. Yeah, Justin Thomas, of course, a rookie, but a rookie with a difference. Yeah. You know, <laughs> 20, well. 2017 FedEx Cup champ as well. Uh, right, final partnership. Oh, uh, who am I going to put out here? I'm going to throw a little monkey wrench in there. I'm going to go Mickelson and Kepka. Oh, yeah. I've been thinking about that one. I know it's kind of strange, and it, you may think it's strange, but I kind of like it. It is quite nice indeed. When you look at those all together, which is what we will do right now, would you be at all concerned with what the Europeans put up against them? No. I mean, that's a proper team, isn't it? None, none whatsoever. I, I, you can put up whoever you want, and you're going to have a good team, and they're going to be good matches. The one thing I will say is that well, there's a lot of talk about rookies. You know, well, these have, you have a bunch of them, we have a bunch of them. These guys aren't rookies. These guys are won big championships. The, to me, there aren't rookies anymore. I think the only one on the, the U.S. team might be Finau that's never won a tournament. So, I mean, yeah. and on your team, the same. I, I think this has the potential to be maybe the most exciting Ryder Cup ever. This is a good combination. This last one here, I kind of just put together for the heck of it. I don't have any inkling that that might happen. I kind of have a feeling these may happen. So we'll see. So you're going for that's good enough for four nil, are you, in the morning session? Oh, no. No, 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 no probably not. I'll take 2-2 two, two and be two, very two, happy. Be very happy. <laughs> I have a feeling that Paul McGinley might have a thing or two to say about it as well. Butch, thanks very much. My pleasure.